has a great design, amazing night photography and great overall performance. But should the lack of Google mobile services pull you away from this great phone, Singapore was the first country in Asia to get the Huawei P40 and P40 Pro when it became available on April 4th. And then there is the P40 Pro Plus that is coming soon. But for now, let's take a look at the P40 Pro. This model sits in the middle of the base 6.1 inch P40 model and the 6.58 inch flagship P40 Pro Plus. The P40 Pro also has a 6.58 inch display with a fast refresh rate of 90 Hz compared to conventional smartphone 60 Hz. It has a rear quad camera system with up to 5 times optical zoom. It's worth noting that the P40 Pro Plus has a panda camera system and up to 10 times optical zoom. The P40 Pro's quad camera system consists of a 50 megapixel wide angle camera, a 40 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, a 12 megapixel periscopic telephoto camera, and a depth sensing camera. The wide angle camera offers a high resolution mode that fully utilizes the 50 megapixel image sensor. Otherwise, it produces 12 megapixel still images with pixel binning, which combines four pixels into one. So, what does this mean? Well, comparing normal and high-resolution shots of the same scene, I found the latter sharper with greater details. But the normal mode is no sludge, with photos looking sharp and detailed and with great dynamic range. The 5x optical zoom camera offers great convenience as there are times when you just cannot go near to the action. While photos taken at 5 times optical zoom are not as sharp and detailed as the wide-angle or ultra-wide-angle shots, they are usually good enough for social media posts. There are some new bells and whistles in P40 Pro such as using artificial intelligence to remove passers-by or reflections in the photos taken. The AI feature to remove passers-by does work like magic in certain scenarios, but I found the remove reflections function merely darkens the reflection. And the real deal is in its night mode. I was able to take handheld shots with up to 9 seconds of exposure. Just take a look at these photos. The results were phenomenal. Rich details in the dark areas while not overexposing the bright areas. And unlike Apple's night mode, the P40 Pro's night mode works in ultra wide angle as well. Despite its photography excellence, we can't ignore the elephant in the room. The Huawei P40 Pro lacks Google mobile services due to the continued US and China trade war. Thus, it does not have Google Play Store and its library of apps. Instead, the P40 Pro comes with Huawei's own app store, the App Gallery. It provides a great selection of apps and even download links to apps that are not available, such as WhatsApp, Facebook, and Instagram. There are also third-party app stores such as APK Pure that you can use to get your Android apps and games to run on the P40 Pro. But while such workarounds might appeal to the geek instincts of some, they could be too troublesome for others. Still, there's no denying that the Huawei P40 Pro is an excellent smartphone, and we can't wait to see what the P40 Pro Plus can do.